My name is Darren Tapp. I'm 36 years old, and I moved to New Hampshire in August of 2009. Uh, the reason I chose uh, to move to New Hampshire is because there was low crime here, there, there was a good economy, the unemployment was low, and to, to me, the Free State product was icing on the cake. Uh, the Free State product first alerted me to, that New Hampshire might be a good place to live, and and then I verified that and uh, and moved. Neocache Radio is a podcast that I, I do with my co-host, JJ. We just released episode 80, and we release an episode every Sunday. Uh, um, and it's available free at neocashradio.com. We talk about eco economics and uh, financial issues. Uh, Bitcoin has uh, international implications, so there are a lot of international finance stories. Uh, when currencies uh, make big moves, like the ru ruble recently did, or um, the yen uh, did uh, this week. You know, well, I'm, I'm very pleased that uh, the community has uh, adopted Bitcoin. Uh, I would say almost um, everybody is involved in it somehow, uh, uh, but in the sense that they will accept it for goods and services. Having a currency that's independent of any human organization is a critical thing for the advancement of humans. Since moving to New Hampshire, uh, my goal has been to establish a life that I, I really enjoy living. And I also am excited about teaching uh, the next generation of Liberty Lovers uh, arithmetic. I have uh, already started a series. I'm calling it the Arithmetical Playground. I call it a playground because first the whole approach is different. We're going to play. We're going to play a game. There's no grades. There's no anything like that. I was uh, wondering if I should uh, assign homework. Uh, because my, my normal job is teaching college students and I'm used to assigning homework. But for this playground I decided not to assign homework at, at least so far because I didn't want the homework done incorrectly and reinforcing the wrong idea. And what's so beautiful about this playground is that this, one of my students, the uh, seven-year-old, did homework on her own. She made up her own problems and answered them. Uh, without any prompting from me and I think that that's uh, the best thing that uh, can ever happen for mathematical learning just doing it not not worrying about what I'm supposed to do or anything like that just actually enjoying it and enjoying it enough that you initiate uh, some thought processes about mathematics well, let me show you a little bit about the arithmetic playground one th thing I do to uh, teach Arithmetic, the way I would have wanted to be taught arithmetic, is I try to stray away from an uh, outside information coming in approach and, and pull information out of the, the student. And so one way I have them do that is to make up symbols. And uh, I had a student tell me she liked peace symbols and hearts, so we, I put those in there. So the idea is you, you just think of these as the numbers, and then there's no fifth number here, or, or if we start at zero, there's no five. So you, that's when you would start using uh, more digits to uh, represent bigger numbers, and that's base five arithmetic. And I had a student actually initiate, and she just loved to say the diamond with the line and two dots, plus the, and then she just said, I want to add the diamond with a line and two dots, and she just came out, it's the box with windows, uh, O plus, and I just was flabbergasted because in uh, uh, the base five arithmetic I was trying to teach, this was correct, and she initiated writing this down. I didn't ask her what this was. And then under it, she wrote four plus four equals eight. And I, I was just, that means she has a very, uh, she has a, a pretty good understanding of what she's writing and what I'm intending to communicate. And I've only been with uh, the student for five uh, days. Uh, young people will uh, surprise you uh, in ways that I, I never thought they would.